musical opened on Broadway in January of 2014 and went on to win two Tony Awards and a Grammy. Now the show is launching its first U.S. national tour. And the woman behind the musical, Carol King, joins us now. Okay, Carol. Uh, but first of all, we're thrilled to have you here, as I'm always. I'm thrilled to we be here. We feel like, you know, we always talk about family members. We're talking about, you know, Barnacle and Halfren. And you know the people that we see around. You are, I, uh, you are a family member. So whenever you come back, we're so excited. My pleasure. My honor. One thing I want to say about the people, you know, a lot of people think that when a show is going on the road, that the Broadway show is folding up and yeah. going on the road. That is not what's happening. No. They're going to be concurrent. Like a clone. Exactly, they're, they're it. but different actresses and so on, actors. So it's very interesting about Beautiful. You, like any of us, would have been a little nervous at the beginning going, well, I, don't, I don't know if I want to see my life sung to on stage like that. And it actually, you didn't go see it for a while. I, I mean, didn't. It had already become a big hit before you finally said, Okay, I'll go see it. In disguise. In disguise. What was that like? It was great. First of all, because, um, you know, I didn't have to know that people were watching me watching the show. Yeah. But it was also great because there were moments in the show that I dreaded. There were some very, very painful yeah. moments that were recaptured very honestly. But um, I was surprised by a couple of things. One was the woman who plays my mother was so good. And at one point, she gives Carol a pep talk. And it was the pep talk my mother gave me and my mother passed away in 2010 so it was like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm bawling and yeah. but the show is so well done it's done professionally and well and the people playing all the characters are just great I mean I would recommend it if I wasn't involved in it the, the interesting thing to me is your initial reluctance to do it and yet when you do finally see it when we see it the thread of your life is so interesting and carried across all these decades. It's just, uh, it's a terrific show, but it's been a terrific life and a gift to anyone who really enjoys music over all these years. It's certainly, thank you. It's, it's been an interesting life. And one of the things that I wrote about this in my book, I have a, a book called A Natural Woman, and I wrote about it, um, that while I was going through some of these things, a lot of marriages were going through similar things because of the times, you know, one or the other of the couple got a little more modern and wanted to sort of have other people in their lives. And this is okay because it was the 60s. Right. Um, so, you know, that's part of it is that I think that's one of the reasons why it resonates with mm. so many people. In December, the Kennedy Center honors two questions. One, how many people do you get to bring with you? Um, not enough. All right. Not enough. That's that's and, correct and it's spectacular that you're finally being honored for this. So talk about uh, the group you're being brought in with is amazing. But just talk about how much you're looking forward to that. It is absolutely spectacular. It's, it's the award of awards. Yeah. And uh, I'm being honored along with the great Cicely Tyson. I could put the great before everybody. Mm -hmm. Cicely Tyson, uh, Seiji Ozawa the conductor, Rita Moreno, George Lucas, and Eagles, by the way, who you don't say the, the Eagles. Eagles. It's Eagles. The Eagles. Just Eagles. Eagles. And all, all five of them, I guess, are going to be It could be an incredible night. So you went from being reluctant to even seeing the musical to surprising the cast one day. Yes. Showing up on stage in a really, really moving moment and actually performing with them. And here's when you're coming out. Set this up because look at, look at them. They're just absolutely blown away. Tell us what we're looking at here. That is, uh, I'm hugging Jared Spector, who plays uh, Barry Mann, and the did not know. As I came out, I came in from the wings, and they're all turning, they're like, oh, oh. and by the time I got to Jessie, the, the, who played me at the time, she was just, she did not know I was there. Nobody knew I was wow. there, and she just completely lost it. <laughs> But it, it was great. And what we were doing is, it was a night of Broadway cares, raising money. Sure. So, you know, we, we got the bid up for me to sing You've Got a Friend. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah. And uh, they paid a lot of money to have me sing You've Got a Friend with the cast, and it all went to Broadway cares. How nice. Carol, It's we love having you here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having and, me, uh, always. Be beautiful. The Carol King musical begins. It's you 
U.S. national tour again on September 15th in Providence. Be there. Carol, thanks again.